Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn how to edit the created rules within Jira. So we have created some of the rules. So the first rule we have created, let's go to the project settings. So in order to edit the rule, you have to go to the project where you have created the particular project rule. Or if you have created a global rule, then you have to go to the global configuration. So we haven't reached to the global configuration part. We have created a rule in the project. So let's go to the project settings. Now in the project setting, if you scroll down, we'll go to the same section automation and the automation section of the project will list all the rules that we have created till now. OK, so you'll see the rule library is there. This was the first one that we created. So say, for example, we have to edit it. OK, so assign all highest priority issues to the project manager. So simply click on the rule if you want to edit it and you will see that the rule details open. OK, let me minimize this. You will see all of the rule details are here. The name can be changed if you want to add a description, say, for example, right? So while editing, you can do any changes that are required. So I'll copy the same name and put it in the description there. OK, just add a description to differentiate it from the name. Uh, it's not necessary, but whatever description about the rule you want to put, you can put it in the description. Now here, if say, for example, I want to change something in the trigger, in the condition, etc. So I can simply click on any of the details. OK, so you will see that issue created run rule is run when the issue is created right so if i want to remove it and i want to add any other trigger there i can simply click on the cross sign here okay so you will see that there is no trigger at the moment and i can start typing in the new trigger in place of the existing trigger that was there okay similarly for the priority simply click on the priority and cancel it or cross it and the priority will be removed and you can add the new priority there okay and then similarly for the assignee, you can do as well. So apart from that, say for example, let me add a new trigger there and I'll say issue created same trigger. OK, and then here if I simply save it, right, I'll save it so that will get saved. OK, now I can also add a new action. So basically apart from whatever actions are there, I can add new action uh, or a new condition in so say for example, new action, right? So then there will be a new action after the issue created. Okay, so issue created is one of the action. Then I'll say another action after issue creation. Say for example, issue created and then issue is say issue is transition. Okay, so I can add two actions there. So issue created first action. Okay, and then issue transition. All right. So say for example, copy from um, trigger issue or I'll say here I can set the fields to set. Okay, and then the assignee automatic and save it. Okay, so this is just to show you that yes, you can go ahead and do any sort of editing in the existing rule when the rule has been created and then if you are fine with all of the editing then you can simply go ahead and publish the new changes okay if i'll say publish changes then the changes will be published and you will see the automation rule will be enabled okay so this green enabled shows that the automation rule has been edited and enabled so if you go to the automation rules again we'll see that this particular rule will have the new set of details. OK, so if I go to the rules again, go to the automation section here or return to list and here we'll see that it is still enabled, right? And you will see in the description this icon appeared. OK, we have added this description there. So this information icon has appeared and the details that we have added in terms of trigger in the new rules will be applied in this particular rule. OK, so this is briefly how you are going to edit the rule. Pretty simple. Simply click on the rule details and it will take you to the rule details wherein you can edit any of the details that you have created for the rule easily. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.